Good morning, ESM. I'm Ellie. And I'm Colin. Hey, Colin. I see everyone's wearing blue today. It's Color Wars Wednesday. More on that in a second. First, news. Zach Brown Band cancels concert in Syracuse after lead singer tests positive for COVID. After testing positive for COVID on Tuesday, singer Zach Brown has canceled four shows, including this Saturday's at the Amphitheater and at the Saratoga Performing Arts Center in Saratoga Springs on October 3rd. Zach Brown Band has performed at the Amphitheater every year since its debut season in 2016. Zach Brown said in a statement, I am deeply disappointed this has happened as touring is our life and performing live for our fans is the best part of our job. The bottom line is that I want to take every precaution to put the health and safety of our fans and crew first. Social media giant YouTube comments on their blocking of videos uploaded by Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny right after the September 19th vote. They stated YouTube considers free speech to be one of its core values. They also stated when we work with governments, there are many things that we have to take into consideration, whether it's local laws or what's happening on the ground. Yesterday, the chief executive of the country's largest lender, J.P. Morgan Chase, said they have begun preparing for the possibility of the United States hitting its debt limit. They've begun scenario planning for how a potential credit default would affect things like the repo, money markets, and client contracts. Congressional Democrats have hoped to avoid a partial government shutdown and to suspend the federal debt, federal debt ceiling with a single vote, but were blocked Monday by Senate Republicans, who said the matter should be dealt with separately. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has said that the Treasury will likely exhaust its extraordinary measures by October 18th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi guys, my name is Ariana and I'm your 2021 DECA President. And I'm John and I'm your DECA Vice President of Public Relations. Today we are here to tell you about our homecoming dance this weekend, this Saturday, October 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. Which I know I'm super excited about. I'm probably going to show up rocking some like some sweatpants, maybe a hoodie, some slippers, get really comfy, you know? No, no John, what are you talking about? You know you have to dress nicely, right? No, it's semi-formal. Doesn't mean you just wear whatever you want. No, John. Semi-formal is defined as something that you wouldn't wear to the office. Not like business casual, but not like a ball gown or a tuxedo either. Something right in between. Oh, okay. So like, so something like this, like you know, a nice pair of dress pants and a button-up. Yeah, and then for me, I'll wear like a formal dress. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too nice. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, when did you say the dance was again? Well, it's this weekend, this Saturday, October second, from seven to ten p.m. Okay. And uh, where do we go for the dance? Well, the dance is in the gymnasium, the large gymnasium. But I might have to tell you about a little dress code policy. Masks are mandatory and there are COVID protocols in place. Okay, so yeah, everybody make sure you wear your masks up and above your nose, please. Yes, please. And then I'd also like to tell you about our ticket sales. You can buy your ticket in morning or after school for only $8, or they will be sold at the door for $10. Can't wait to see you all there. Bye, guys. Dear ESM juniors, seniors, and staff, ESM will be partnering with the American Red Cross for a blood drive on Wednesday, October 6th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Hall of Fame. Please help us fill the schedule and sign up to donate blood at this life-saving event. Each donate can help up save up to three lives. Donors must be 17 years or older. 16-year-olds may donate with parent permission slip, and you must be in good health. All donors will receive a $5 gift card via email and a Red Cross sling backpack. You can sign up with Mr. Mussolino and B4 or on the Red Cross website at redcross.org. The sign-up code is ESMHS. So Colin, what does Color Wars mean? We are freshmen, so this is our first year. Well, Color Wars is where each grade has their own color that they try to see who wears the color the most and the best. Wow. Wait, how do you know all that? I just asked around and a few seniors told me what they thought it was. Cool. What colors are people wearing today? Well, seniors are wearing black, juniors are wearing white, sophomores are wearing pink, and freshmen are wearing blue. I like the color blue. Reminds me of blue oceans, blue birds, blue skies. Speaking of blue skies, let's see how blue those skies are going to be with weather. Today, on Wednesday, we will have a high of 65 and a low of 47 degrees. And today will be breezy and cloudy with a little sun and a chance for an afternoon shower or two. Tonight will be cloudy with only a few showers. 
Thursday, we'll have a high of 61 and a low of 45 degrees, and Thursday will be unseasonably cold, cold with lots of cloud, clouds and wind, with a chance for some morning to midday showers. Friday, we'll have a high of 65 and a low of 50 degrees, and will mostly be seasonable, seasonable, seasonably cool and have lots of sunshine, making it, making it a good day for a prep rally. Saturday and Sunday, we'll have highs in the high 60s and lows in the low 50s, with both, day, with both days having rain showers. Monday and Tuesday, we'll have highs in the mid 60s and lows in the high 40s with showers. And with that, I'm Grayson, going all out for Color Wars, bringing you your Wednesday morning weather. So, how do we get our colors anyways? From the student council, each graduating class picked a color they wanted. Seniors went first, juniors went second, sophomores went third, and freshmen went last. And by the end of the week, there's a big homecoming dance, right? Yes, but there's also the big homecoming football game. Now that we're on that topic, let's go to our sports. The girls varsity team beat JD 2-0. Ashley Praxel and Angelina Polcaro led the team with one goal each, and Leah Shavesty and Natalie Peterson both had an assist, making six straight shutouts. The tennis team lost 6-1 to, to West Tennessee. The only winner for the Spartans was singles player Anna Bird. The field hockey team won last night against Cortland 2-0. Goals were scored by Jenna Orlando and Sarah Stenoman. The gymnastics team beat RFA yesterday 124-105. to Rihanna and Bucco led the team in all around. Kaylee Montana and Ellie Mancini tallied 23 points in the all around and Mallory Kramer scored seven on both the floor and vault. Any girls interested in playing JV or varsity basketball, there will be a meeting Thursday at 3.30 in Mr. Keogh's room in D10. Both golf, ooh, both golf teams play against JD at 3.30. Boys and girls cross country run against Oswego and Cortland today at 4.30. Tennis plays at home against Fulton today at 4.30, and the volleyball team plays at home tonight against Liverpool at 6.30. So Ellie, how was anchoring without John and Luke? They weren't here to tell us what to do, so I think pretty great. Well, that's our time, so for me. And me, and everyone else in the morning show, have a great Color Wars Wednesday.